Katrina's husband, Roy Ziegler II, is also charged with the capital murder of little Riley Ann. She's a 20-year-old who will now spend the rest of her life in prison, in large part because of forensic artist Lois Gibson. As I like to help innocent victims of crime, that's why I do this. Gibson drew the sketch that helped identify baby Grace as Riley Ann Sawyers. That led police to the two-year-old's mother, Kimberly Trenner. Guilty of capital murder. Prosecutors want Riley Ann's stepfather, Roy Ziegler, to suffer the same fate. Cops say Ziegler and Trenner together tortured the two-year-old until she died. Uh, he had absolutely nothing to do with it. He doesn't have, uh, he was not a witness to the events that caused the child's death. Ziegler's attorney points to this letter as proof of Ziegler's innocence. The journal entry written by Trenner starts with how she woke up that July morning after Royce went to work and thought about how Riley is a spoiled brat and out of control. The letter goes on to say, I just kept hitting her with a belt. She was trying to get up, and I pushed her down on the couch. Sometimes she hit the floor instead. According to the letter, Trenner went to Walmart, bought items to cover up the crime, and later alone dumped Riley's body in Galveston Bay. The problem is, Ziegler's attorney admits Ziegler did not go to work that day. Police also say they have proof the couple was at Walmart together. So will Trenner's changing story be a problem when prosecutors try to convict her husband? If the jury finds that she's not credible because of her history of lying or prevarication, they can discount her testimony. If they discount her testimony completely, there's no evidence left to convict him. Ziegler's trial date still hasn't been set yet. If you want to read that entire journal entry for yourself, just go to myfoxhouston.com, click on Scene on TV. In the studio, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.